Your News at 5 continues with Lisa Hughes and Jack Williams. It is the kind of news that can turn a parent's world upside down in an instant. Word that your child has a potentially debilitating disease. Now for Michelle Marengo of Hudson, that news came three years ago. But thanks to Children's Hospital Boston, the future is now very bright for her eight-year-old son. The operation area feels like it's healed beautifully. If it weren't for the matching scars on either side of his head, David Youngerman would seem like any normal second grader. He liked soccer, playing tag with his friends, and board games. So you have to yell it now. Yahtzee! Thank you. But those First games example, got harder when David started having numbness in his arms and legs. Did you know I was kind of scared, and I kept on um, falling and limping. and. One day, his legs simply gave out from underneath him in a convenience store. It was just so evident that there was something major wrong. David's pediatrician recommended a trip to Children's Hospital Boston. They knew exactly what it was. David had Moya Moya, a very rare disease that causes the narrowing of blood vessels in the brain and left untreated uh, can lead to stroke. Great. All right. They said we happen to have someone here that has pioneered the surgery for this disease. That's when David nice met the man you. who changed his life. Dr. Michael Scott took healthy blood vessels from his scalp and attach them to David's brain. It's just like grafting a branch onto a tree. A plant. Yeah, that's right. Dr. Scott performed the same surgery on 10-year-old Allison Kemp of Baltimore. These days, David and Allison have a special bond. It's been so special, and, and the kids send letters back and forth. And <laughs> Two families forever joined by friendship, a rare disease, and the hospital that gave them a second chance. Everyone that you meet with and, and who touches your life here um, makes you feel like everything is going to be okay. Now David, who beat me very well at Yahtzee, will be joining me on Saturday, June 11th for the fourth annual Miles for Miracles walk to benefit Children's Hospital Boston. And if you'd like some information about the walk or CBS 4 Kids, our year-long campaign, just go to our website, cbs4boston.com, and click on CBS 4 Kids. And there he is, going to walk all those miles with smiles. And what could have been if they hadn't diagnosed this quickly? It, it, I mean, it could have been absolutely disastrous for him. Only one in two million people has this mm. disease. He is a great guy, though, and, he's, and, and the sky's the limit for him now. No limitations. David, we're awfully glad that you're there. That's great.